club is the winner of the environment. That was the environment category. It was the environment category. It was, it was manufacturing. Yes, it was manufacturing category. And we received more than 50 innovations. And out of those 50 innovations, we matched the winner. And congratulations. On behalf of the CEO. We are very equipped now to uh, change the world and uh, try to uh, make the changes that try to solve the problems that the community is facing. So it's a very big thank you to the Kenya National Innovation Agency and also Net Fund and also the the good um, technology and um, entrepreneurship ecosystem through the Hub Startup Center and also the University Management that's going to enable us now to go from one to an next level. Thank you. In our continent and in the world at large. Cases of human wildlife conflicts have been on the rise, resulting in the death of many human beings, destruction of property and crops, and the death of both domestic and wild animals. Wildlife trafficking cases, on the other hand, have been increasing significantly, and if nothing is done about it, our future generation might not be able to enjoy the beautiful scenarios we enjoy today. So the current wildlife tracking and monitoring activities are completely manual and very laborious to companies like the Kenya Wildlife Service. And did you know that the cost of immobilizing one animal, either for the purposes of administering medication or replacing a collar, costs the Kenya Wildlife Service up to 300000 per animal? So that's pretty expensive, right? So two years ago, in 2019, the statistics were a bit shocking, with over 77 people being killed as a result of human wildlife conflict, over 1,200 people being seriously injured, over 500 properties destroyed, and over 700 animals being killed as a result of this challenge. To add, the government was also left with over $5 million worth of unpaid bills and compensations to our residents. At this rate, as you can see with the numbers at which our endangered species are being extinct, as I mentioned earlier, our future generation will really have no chance in enjoying the beautiful scenery we have in our national parks. So the current tracking uh, solutions have to be important, import, imported into the country because these solutions are not available locally and um, the tracking devices are actually not able to send real-time notifications to our patrol rangers in the event when animals cross into the human settlement and when um, poachers are detected in the, in the protected areas. So with our device, we are offering a, a rather cheaper solution that will be available locally to be used in our country. To tackle those problems, we need to come up with a solution that they don't have at hand, and this is technology, the technology that we are building. And to able to uh, counter that problem, we must understand, first of all, why the animals are endangered. So to know why they are endangered, we must first of all know like where the animals are coming from, where they are, they are going, how far are they going, and even um, what are they doing at the particular moment. And that's what drives uh, the two products that we provide at Ryan's Lab. Uh, the Ryan's Trade and the Ryan's Wildlife. So I want to start by appreciating uh, this team. I think what you have shown us is very good and we feel proud of you as a student of Denham Kimathi. The new company, we hope you grow and become an employer number one.